supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey, make sure y'all drop a like and make sure you subscribe if you are new. Nobody will know. Helps the channel out a lot. Now look, I'm finna show y'all the top three locks in 2K23 next gen and current gen. I'm going to go every, I'm going to go over every build in depth so you can make the best build for you, okay? Y'all locked down, y'all are. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all know who y'all are. You know, you feel me, you feel me. But look, um, if you want to make a, make a lockdown, this is the best place to go. Make sure you don't skip or you will not understand why builds are the way they are. You're going to learn a lot. So make sure you watch this fully through. And also, before we get into it, if you got above an 80 plus win percent, next gen or current gen, hit me up on Twitter, my boy, okay? I need people to run with. People do not play this game and under 1% of people have an 80 plus win percent. I know it's pretty sad, right? For some reason, when I put people lower than that, they're just like super starstruck. I don't know why I'm just a guy playing a video game with an anime profile picture. It's weird. <laughs> so look, let's get into it. This is the first lock. This is the Demi Bailout Swan Lock. The Bailout Meta Swan Lock. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you why, okay? When your PG gets locked up, this is the perfect build. This happens a lot. PGs are struggling now. Main ball handlers are struggling, okay? With this, you have gold posterizer. There's a thing called skill dunk. Learn to master it. Get your slasher take. It does not require much skill. You will dunk over anyone. And then if you play any type of comp, you're mostly going to be guarded by a PG. But even then, like, you'll be able to yam on the centers too, you have gold posterizer, skill dunk, gold limitless take. So it's like, you know, they pass it to you, you know, you take a step in, ying, you know, you fly, bro. If y'all need tutorials for all that, like, uh, you know, I, I got you, bro. But um, just let me know if y'all need any type of tutorials. But, and then you get a lot of the, like, a lot of the dope contact dunk animations with the 93, but it's, the reason is for that gold posterizer, man. And the stand and dunk, man, you know, you can do stand and dunk cheese, okay? You have silver rise up. You can contact dunk people. This is the bailout lock, okay? And then you still got a nice um, layup too. Now this build, you can make even crazier on current gen, man. Okay, now the shoot, you got gold claymore, gold catch and shoot at a tier two, okay? very important and you got all the other shooting badges now the reason is 83 3 agent 3 silver okay agent 3s is not just a fading badge it's the stop and pop anything you do any movement or anything whatever agent 3s okay now this is another thing to bail out the pg they pass it to you in the corner you run up to the top of the key and fade Okay, these are comp moves, but you can master them. You can do this on all levels, rec, pro-am, all that. But the this Agent 3s will help you be able to do that, man. You know, these I'm telling y'all the, the comp secrets, man. Now, this right here, the playmaking, okay? I do have a lock with playmaking. If y'all don't know, a lot of comp locks, they do not have unpluckable. The same with the centers. Um, that's up to you if you think that matters so much, but I'm letting y'all know how the comp locks the meta is how they're running their builds. Okay, um, this is just for the pass accuracy. You will still be able to move, catch the ball out the corner, go yam dunk. You will still be able to do all of that, but you know, it's not as you know well rounded as um it could be. You know, this might not be the lock for you. But um, this is more for like if you have a team, etc. And e even even without a team, bro, this a lock in general is, is is insane. You have a 99 still, it's broken. The 75 pass accuracy is gonna allow you to unlock a pass style to um, you know, pass the ball faster. Current gen there is no pass style, so you might be able to go lower or higher or whatever you feel you need to do. Now this defense, okay. 
25 defensive. We got a great interior, 97 perimeter. Okay, we got Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor, Hall of Fame challenger, silver anchor. It works, but you have to be, you know, skilled, you know, somewhat because paint D is terrible, you know. But this is mostly for perimeter. Still, you can still get a lot of paint stops, you know, um, a lot. It's all about your positioning and all that hoobla. But this is mainly to bail out your guard and um, play immaculate perimeter defense and, you know, paint defense too. You got some rebounding. You feel me? And look, you got the 87 speed, so you know you're you're extremely fast. The best heights for locks are 6'7 six, and 6'6, six, six, okay? You are extremely fast. You know, you got some acceleration on you. They force you to have that. And you got the vertical, okay? Vertical is going to help you get rebounds and contest in the paint, okay? And also help you unlock certain dunks. And you also have an 89 stamina. When you're not a ball handler, you could go a little lower with your stamina and you will be fine. This is the first lock. The bailout lock. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. Show me a way. Cause I got bills to pay. Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. Show me a way. Now this build right here, okay? Listen. This is more, for, this is like a test. I'm gonna show you the other version of this, okay? I have a theory, bro, okay? It's still an amazing lock. Listen, I have a theory, bro. When you make these lockdowns with quick drops only, right? What's the point? Because you can't get limitless takeoff, right? You can't get it, okay? On current gen, you can't. But you can't get it unless you get all these badges right you have to get like seven to, you know you you have to have over 10 and and more like what 13 just to get it on bronze and then it's like pointless you know just to get it on gold and all that is point you're not going to get it but a lot of comp locks they like to make this type of build but you know you have the 80 dunk the 60 vertical but it's like you can't get limitless so what's the point for going for quick drops Here's another method. Now you have to learn how to do this. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. R2 and square is how you spam standing dunks, okay? There is a cheese method. Right when you get under, right when you get under the restricted, man, that's when you hit your R2 square. You can stop, you could do whatever, and you know you'll dunk on people, all that. And look, you even got the rise up to help to get it on the silver. Now I don't know exactly what you need to still get somewhat driving dunks. I don't know if it's a 40, 45, but if y'all know, you know, you can adjust the build some, but I have a, I have a theory, bro. Okay. I haven't made the build. I'm just helping out. I am a build genius. Okay. Th this is how we used to do stuff back in the day. You know, you know, we used to go in the, we used to wait until we hit the restricted and then hit the R2 square and you never get dunked. Standing dunk cheese. Even like, you know, you get certain animations, you can't get dunked no matter how they're trailing you if you wait till all the way then to activate your dunk, okay? A lot of people don't know that stuff, but that's besides the point. Now, I'm gonna show you the other version after I show you this version, but this is why it looks like this. This might like relax in the comments, relax. I'm just letting you know. If any of y'all wanna test it, go for it, bro. I'm gonna show you the other version after this. Okay, now look, same method um, as the previous build. You know, you can bail out um your PG. You know, you got you can fade. You got the catch and shoot. You got the 83-3. You know, you got the free throw, and you know, you got the midi. You know, you decent. You decent on the shooting, right? Now the playmaker, you can speed boost, okay? You got some unpluckable, okay? You got some clamp breaker, okay? You know, you could bail out. This is more for, you know, you play with randoms. You still trying to, you might have to create sometimes. And um, yeah, like for instance, like you have a 99 steal, right? Now you got some speed with ball. You can go full court and, you know, go crazy. Make sure y'all hit that like button. You know, you get the steal, boom, you're going off to the races. And you still got the nice pass accuracy. 
got quick first step bronze hyperdrive floor general unpluckable you know you feel me so when you get your steals with your 99 you can go off you know on the pro on the fives you know the threes you know you can you know full take it full court you know Braun in his prime now you got a 80 interior demi demi stuff you can also use this build for 1v1s and 2v2s now look like like th this is such a like a dope build on every mode 1v1 2v2 threes and fives bro because look bro you can speed boost move around stand and dunk cheese when you need to finish you got a nice three and you have a 99 steel so it's wraps on the ones it's it's like really wraps like and you have silver post lockdown for when you face post scores and you can rip people in past two k's a lot of people dominated the ones with like locks and some of their locks can't even speed boost you can speed boost with this okay and you have a stupid high interior hall of fame clamps 1v1 and 2v2 players are not used to playing people with hall of fame clamps and hall of fame glove you're going to destroy them okay like bad okay and you know you still got the silver anchors you know you know you feel me and you got the 93 rebounding and you got the gold rebound chaser so you gonna horse them a lot of people in these 1v1s and 2v2s they don't upgrade their rebounding too much so you're gonna horse steal and just destroy them bro like game ruining bro like bro if you play this build in a sim versus semi-decent person you it, it's, it's not gonna be fun <laughs> like at all you have an 87 speed 77 acceleration and yeah the vertical is a little eh but you know it's all because the quickie drops right you know y'all can alter this you know let me know what you think now let me show you the other version now here's the other version man like the non-standing dunk version but I, as you can see bro like look you see you you can't even activate limitless takeoff you 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 can't you can't get it you feel me but if you mean you if you still want to go for it this is the other version but you see what you had to sacrifice right you had to lower the offensive rebound and if y'all don't know what i'm talking about look at the bill before this you had to lower the offensive rebound you had to knock down the speed okay you had to knock down the speed from 87 to 85 just to be able to get this driving dunk when you can't even get limitless take i don't know if y'all ever try to dunk without limitless takeoff it's gonna annoy you but you know test it out do what you will do what you won't test the hoe out you can literally go test the build test the stand and dunk i mean versus computers is it's fluky because they stay on you crazy so it's kind of hard to test like that but um do what you will bro this build got the uh the quick drops but without the limitless you got the fading three catch and shoot claymore green machine you know you can go crazy you can really bail out that damn pg you can speed boost you know you could dominate the 1v1 yourself just like i told y'all before you could speed boost you got some unpluckable on your build you got the hyper drive you got quick first step handles for days you got immaculate defense you can stop post scores you got silver post lockdown stupid high interior hall of fame glove hall of fame clamps interceptor challenger gold rebound chaser okay for the 1v1 and 2v2s a lot of people don't have that you know gold chase down artist silver anchor you know you can really dominate the ones on this build as i said before people are not used on the 1v1 and 2v2 for having someone guard them with hall of fame clamps and glove and gold rebound chaser so you're going to destroy them if you're half decent on other 2ks People use lockdowns that couldn't even speed boost like this to go on 70 game win streaks all the time, okay? You could do that same method, you know? And um, go crazy. And, you know, you got the speed and all that. You know, you, you, you good, you good. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this build. Okay, that's three. I'm gonna show you the last one. Okay, now this is the 6-8 lock that could do 1v1s more if you play with randoms more all around but not as op with the d but still very immaculate ultimate 1v1 2v2 3v3 it can play all builds okay with this game man it's very expensive 100 plus dollars you gotta have builds that could do everything um if you want unless you you know if you don't have a team and stuff 
But um, yeah, okay, let me explain this build, okay? You got a decent layup, you know, unlock some animations. You got the 80 drive and dunk for the limitless, or not for the limitless, for the quick drops, correct? Okay, now, unlike those other builds, you got quick drops and the stand and dunk cheese, so you can combine that if you learn it. You got silver rise up. Um, you'll eventually be able to get limitless takeoff on silver. You just have to add extra badges and you'll be Gucci. Current gen, you don't have to. All these builds you can make better on current gen, bro, because there's no tiers on um, the badges, right? And um, yeah, you could bail out, you know, stick dunk. But yeah, you know, decent finishing, right? All you need is quick drops and you'll be completely fine. Okay, the shooting, you got all the badges you need, bro. The clutch shooter, combat kid, claymore, agent threes, green machine, catch and shoot, etc. bro. Everything you'll need. You see, you speed boost, you got the 75, hyper drive, silver quick first step, silver unpluckable. This is a lock, right? Okay, you're good. You're good. This is for a lock, but still. You can run the ball and all that. Even if they do rip you, you can get it back, bro. Okay, your build's defense is immaculate. This is mainly just a lock, right? This is for y'all that want to be 6'8 for some reason. This is, you know, how you make a 6'8 lock that's, you know, super versatile, man. Got a little bit more size on you and wingspan than the 6'7s or 6'6 locks, okay? Um... Yeah, you unlock a lot of anim animations at play make, um, playmaking, and yeah, now the defense. Defense is, you know, OD. You can stop post scores, Hall of Fame chase down artists, Hall of Fame workhorse, Hall of Fame off ball pet, silver interceptor, silver glove, silver pogo, gold anchor, okay? Now, gold anchor, you really notice a difference in the paint contest. You know, you got gold clamps, etc., man really nice stats and you got an immaculate rebounding you know for the 1v1s twos whatever you want to play you got some offensive rebound on you and defense and, you know you got decent speed stamina and vertical man to unlock certain dunks and just a vertical to help you get more boards and contest in the paint man not just for the unlocking of dunks those are the four top uh lockdown builds i have dropped some other variations on my channel just go check it out man i got a bunch of build videos even some gameplay uh, disguised as a build video you know just look at the playlist you ever see, want to see some gameplay on a past 2k or this 2k and um yeah man y'all make sure y'all follow me on twitch turn on them post notice and uh watch one of these two videos appreciate y'all nigga you gay but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again we're talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.